Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So guys, over here in this video, we are going to talk about the two different terms which are very related to each other and which are very important in thermodynamics. So these are nothing but the enthalpy and the entropy of the system. So guys, in our previous videos, we have seen the first law and the second law followed by the Clausius and the Kelvin Planck statement. Heat and work are mutually convertible. The heat will flow from cold body to hot body under the application of some external force. So guys over here in this video we are going to define this particular enthalpy and the entropy of the system. So guys if you are new to my educational channel you can subscribe it and you can press the bell icon so in case of my latest videos you will receive instant notification. So guys without wasting any time let's begin with today's topic that is nothing but the enthalpy and the entropy of the system. So guys, whenever I talk about a particular thermodynamic system, there will be a particular thermodynamic process will take place in that particular system. The heat will be converted into the work or else the heat will flow from one system to another system. It means the flow of the heat or the flow of the energy, we can call it as the flow of the enthalpy. It means a particular system will receive heat from external source. It means the overall enthalpy of the system will increase. So guys over here, I can define the term enthalpy as the total heat carrying capacity or as the total heat contained in that particular system that is nothing but the overall enthalpy of the system. So enthalpy is nothing but heat content of the particular system. So that is the reason basically. So this particular enthalpy is denoted by H which is nothing but the heat. We can call it as a heat. So the unit of this enthalpy that is the same that of the unit of the heat which is nothing but the joules basically. So guys now let's talk about the entropy. In universe the things want to move from ordered state to disordered state like the flow of the water the flow of the water is not like uh, it is not overall like the power like the all the molecules which are arranged in the all the water molecules are not like uh, these are not like the arranged in a specific manner in a specific uh, uh, manner or else in a specific structure in a specific pattern basically so the flow of the water like it will be a most disordered state in which the molecules are you know and are not arranged in a particular pattern it is uh, the molecules it is the state in which the molecules are in a disordered state in case of gases the molecules are very far away from each other and uh, it is the most disordered state so guys over here we can define this particular entropy term as it is the measurement of the degree of disorder so how this particular entropy term will relate to the thermodynamics so guys over here in case of thermodynamics a process will occur in the heat will be flowing from one body to another body so due to the like the due to the flow of the heat due to the increase in the temperature the particular like the molecules will start vibrating and due to that you know due to that uh, the degree of randomness will increase the entropy will increase as there will be a, a subsequent temperature increase in a particular system so entropy is somewhat related to the temperature it is also related to the pressure as the pressure increases the entropy of the system will also tends to increase as the temperature increases the entropy of the system will also increase so guys over here you need to understand that the entropy is nothing but the degree of randomness so guys basically this particular term entropy we cannot directly measure the entropy we cannot measure the degree of randomness in a particular subject in a particular matter basically because this particular matter consists of millions of uh, this atoms and molecules so that's why it is very uh, you know it is very nearly impossible to measure the degree of randomness it is very difficult to measure the entropy but we can measure the change in entropy we can say this particular entropy is having a initial state s1 and it is having the final state s2 so guys we can measure this particular change in entropy and guys this particular entropy is defined by the letter s so as this particular s is referred to the state this particular entropy is the path function it is the function of the state it means suppose i am having a water i reduce the temperature of the water water will start freezing and it will convert into the ice so in case of ice 
the molecules are arranged in a proper manner in a proper order so guys in case of the ice when it is at the solid state it is having less entropy over here in case of ice in case of water water molecules are far away from each other there are there is a degree of freedom which is associated with the water molecule so guys over here the water molecules are at the disordered state as compared to the ice so over here the entropy of the water will increase further if we additional further to that if we increase the temperature of the water it means i'm uh, just uh, increasing i'm just giving energy to the water molecules the water molecules will start vibrating furthermore it will have the disorder the furthermore the randomness in the water molecules will increase and then it will convert into the steam after uh, at when it is reaches at the specific temperature so guys over here in case of the steam steam is at the higher entropy because the degree of randomness will be more in case of steam now this particular entropy is related to the state basically so as we have seen these are the two three different states over here solid liquid and gaseous so the entropy is related to it is subjected to the state function so that's why the entropy is like denoted by letter s1 so as it is the state function so guys over here in this video we have seen the enthalpy and the entropy of overall system so guys over here so guys i hope you understood the simple terms these are the enthalpy and the entropy of the system so guys thanks for watching this video guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy